Well, good morning. Another, another great day. Oh, I went to a little ham, ham fest or flea market or whatever you want to call it. They seem to like to change the names. And I got a hold of this little Ico. This is an Ico signal tracer. It's a, a 147A. Should be really persnickedly right. You know, I've wanted one of these for a long time. I've actually thought about building one, and uh, they're pretty basic. Um, all it is really is a little RF amp, or excuse me, a little audio amp, and it has a input for an RF stage, but it also has some other features. Um, it has a kind of a little watt meter built into it. It has a magic eye, but the magic eye is kind of tired in this one. No big deal. To use the watt meter, you just plug up whatever you're using in there and turn this knob until it magic eye closes and then you read the wattage, you know, whatever. Uh, the tracer part is pretty basic. You just turn it on, adjust the gain, and you can select the input. The noise feature is kind of interesting. It uh, puts DC on your probe so you can... Uh, it, uh, anyway, it's kind of weird. It also has some substitution features. Um, you can, it has a, a little plate transformer with B+, plus, so you can substitute a, you know, plate transformer, audio plate transformer, excuse me, or output transformer. Um, you can do, you know, push-pull or single end, and um, it's got a place for a VTVM or a oscilloscope if you don't like the magic eye, and it has a place to hook just the speaker, or you can use the amp to drive another speaker. Somebody's put, this This uses the pin jack, that was kind of the predecessor to the banana jack before. Someone's kind of put some little, I believe these are kind of a little adapter. If not, no big deal. Anyway, I thought we'd just kind of drop this on its face, make it worse. So we just give this a little looky see inside before I throw throw the coals to her. This will make up for my grumpy experience with my RCA marker generator adder. I gave five bucks for this at the ham thing. Discovered that if you get there kind of early. You can swoop down on all the inexpensive items quick enough. At least for me, anyway. I also got a little signal generator. That's well, a sweep generator, technically. It's still in pretty good shape. The line cord had a weird little scuff on it, like it got burned with something, like a, like a drum sander or something. This is just a little aluminum chassis that's folded. Pretty basic. Um, <clears throat> early versions of this may have been a kit. Ico used to make kits. And it's just point-to-point -point wiring. Nothing real special here. And nothing terribly neat. But that's okay. And we get the... Oh, that's a... That's kind of clever. It's a fuse for the... The uh, watt meter. I wonder what it's rated at. I don't know. Something doesn't say. It's. I don't know. It looks like about maybe three or four amp, whatever 100 watts is. Well, 500 watts be more than three or four amp, I think. And there's the, probably the diode for the. This is a more modern version of the, than the one I looked up in the internet, I think. Yeah. I think the one I looked up on the internet had all kind of metal tubes. Yes, it's 7 o'clock in the morning and people are blasting their car stereos. You can see, it's pretty clean on there. Magic Eye tube. It's never been replaced. Still got the factory clip tall on there, just a crummy little one watt speaker from Japan. 
And it looks like somebody's corduroy pants for the speaker grill. <clears throat> well, we hang on a tick, we'll uh, power it up. Well, we're back. I'll give her a little. Let's see here, what do we got to do? Huh? Well, it doesn't appear to be working. Oh well, at least it has tubes. There we go. Well, let's see how it is. Oh, cool. Appears to be pretty sensitive. We can turn that down. Like I said, the magic eye doesn't appear to work. He said that ahead of time. He said, well, don't get too excited about that. The magic. If you're buying it, he said, if you're buying it for the magic eye, it doesn't work. And I thought, well, I'm not. So there. Well, it does sort of work. Yeah, it's just too bright out here. I don't know if he can. It's wore out. It's glowing just barely. Okay, well, just thought I'd show that to you. Just for the fun of it. There are times it'd be nice to have a little, uh, just a little test setup just to see if something worked without a big fight, without dragging a bunch of other pieces out. I've seen other versions. I think Heathkit made a version of this. And there's a lot of plans on the internet. Like I said, it's just, it's just basic. It's... Special. Well, oh, that diode's got me going. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Gee, something smells pretty damn hot. Uh, I better look into that. That, that uh, 6SQ5. What's that? That must be the. That's probably the rectifier tube. Probably a 6 something, 6X5 six or something. What's this? This is Korea. Hmm. What that is? Hmm. It's hooked to the watt meter. Oh, um, the other version of this, this the not the A version, just had a. Uh, they used the diode section out of a tube. It had like a detector tube. They used the diode section out of it to do something with the watt meter, and they've replaced that. I need to find a new schematic. Hmm. Okie dokie. Take her easy.